Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to be doing a come to the salon with me again! Yay! In the last video, and if you haven't watched it, I'll pop the link in the description box below. But we showed you the technique that's used to get my hair looking like this. Well, don't judge it now, it looks terrible, but looking like this. And we did a mini hair tutorial on how to get those perfect Pinterest soft curls. In today's video though, ooh, this arm is getting sore. Can tell I don't go to gym. Um, in today's video, we're going to be doing a Q&A. So I asked you guys to send me questions that you wanted answered about hair care and tips and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get Thelma, who is my amazing hairdresser, to answer those questions. And then we're also gonna do a mini hair tutorial. I also did an Instagram poll asking you what you wanted to see. So whether you want to see an up style, a down style, curly, straight, plait, bun, the works and in the end it was really neck and neck but in the end down style beachy waves one so we're going to be doing voluminous beachy waves today so i'm super excited about that so tell you guys a bit about my hairdresser if you haven't watched the previous video her name is Salma and she is a master at what she does. I just, I love that girl too, but she is so unbelievably talented. Her hair game is like super strong, stronger than strong, like Thor strong, it's so good. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with my hair today. We are coloring it. Yeah, this is just a, an endless cycle with me. I never know what I wanna do. And usually once I'm there, Thalma knows exactly what I want, even though I don't know what I want. I did, however, three weeks ago, send her a picture of um, platinum blonde hair, and I was just like, oh my god, let's do this, and she just said no. But that's another thing that I love about her, even though she crushes my, crushers, crushes my dreams, she does it with good reasoning. She wants to keep my hair healthy and happy, and if I had to do that, it would be dry and dull and gross. But in any case, Enough babbling on, let's just get to the salon. And we're here! Guys, I've always wanted this kind of volume in my life. So, today we have not done any balayage at all. We've actually just done highlights and they're very, very fine highlights and baby lights because I'm going much lighter today. We're not going to go super, super light because Thelma doesn't want to damage my hair basically. So, that is what I look like. I can't wait for my hair massage. You mustn't hold it, chair. You're holding it so close to the microphone. Don't tell me how to vlog, bro. Oh, no, no. Come on! Okay, so in today's video, we're going to give you guys a tutorial on how to get beachy, messy look. Um, perfect for summer. So Thelma's just going to give you a step-by-step -step as to how to achieve it. Okay, so I'm alternating with my curls. Um, one section is a normal wave. Just working really fast. Um, I don't want to go too slow because else the curl is going to be too curly. Okay, so this is my second wave, so I'm going to alternate by bending the hair. It creates this quick crimp and I turn 180 degrees, go down a bit, turn 180 degrees and it gives it this very kinky wavy look. 
very messy beachy and I immediately break it with my hand so that sets down a little bit looser I don't want it to be too tight my next section is going to be the wave so putting my irons in turning out and just working really fast I just want to create a kink I don't want to curl and then immediately breaking it with my hand so just create soft movement just through the bottom half and again swiping through really quick and I let it go through to the ends okay so I asked you guys to send me some questions for Thelma and I've got them right here I picked 10 of them and we're just gonna go through them while she carries on with my hair okay number one how to treat split ends without cutting definitely would need to do a trim it's just unfortunately one of those things um, if you have split ends already it then means that you definitely are in need of a, of a cut if you do not cut your hair they're going to just keep on splitting and it's going to become even worse so definitely would need to do a trim try to find a hairdresser that understands what one centimeter means there is also the split end of treatment that can be done it is specifically designed to remove um, split ends from the hair but at the end of the day when a trim needs to be done it's um, one of those things question number two does it damage your hair to do highlights I have dark brown hair and would like to add some dark red highlights does bleach have to be involved if you are wanting dark red highlights not necessarily does bleach need to be um, used depending on what has been previously done to your hair if it is natural and it is dark then you don't need to lift the hair bleach it out at all but if your hair is dark color treated or you've color treated it at home then definitely you may need to be you may need to bleach the hair out um, if it is used correctly and bleached out correctly you won't have any damage whatsoever there are products that hairstylists can use to keep the integrity of the hair together while lifting your hair okay number three what is an affordable product to use on sensitive scalps mine itches and flakes due to the fragrances used in the product definitely keep an eye out on your scalp if you are having problems if it's very itchy and goes red um, you may have a bit of sensitivity uh, that would need to be dealt with with the uh, dermatologist um, an affordable product i uh, would definitely recommend to use an in salon treatment something that's going to cost a little bit of money but is definitely going to be there to protect your scalp um, if you are not using something that is not professional i don't know what is in that product um, there are many sulfates which is the foamy ingredient in the shampoo that can aggravate the scalp um, where any professional in salon product um, the sulfates aren't as harsh on your scalp and therefore you won't have that irritation but if it is something where you are still using a professional product you still have irritation on your scalp then it's something you definitely need to take up with your dermatologist question number four how often should you wash your hair um, every second day every third day is fine um, that would be your average amount of time to wash your hair um, what is the best remedy for oily hair um, would be a shampoo that is designed for oily scalps it helps slow down the sebaceous glands from producing too much oil watch when you are shampooing your hair don't aggressively rub your scalp um, use the palms of your hands and gently shampoo always shampoo twice first shampoo gets rid of any dirt builder and then second one is there to do its job watch the hot water hot water can activate the sebaceous glands from producing oil 
and therefore that's why you may suffer with the oily scalp so just use the palms of your hands and gently rub your scalp shampoo twice and i'm sure everything will be fine how often should you cut your hair but that ties in with the split end one um every six to eight weeks i wouldn't go any more than eight and a half weeks um, and just for a tiny bit coming off for somebody who wants to grow their hair if somebody wants to maintain their cut like a lot I would suggest every six to seven weeks I recently dyed my hair blonde and it's damaged how do I get it looking healthy again so definitely would need to look at it getting some good shampoos to use at home um, from Swashhof they have got a really awesome range called Fiber Force so the fiber force is there to help with really that damaged hair. It's there to help uh, restore and rebond the hair and helps with getting rid of that damaged look from the cuticle and smoothening out the hair. Ultimately, you just have to cut your hair off. Maybe. Yeah. Depending on how damaged it is. Uh, what is easier to maintain in the long run, long hair or short hair? Long hair is definitely an easy one because you can tie it up and have a bun day um, depending on thickness. Um, somebody's hair that's very thick um, would definitely work for having longer hair because then it's just it tames down a little bit because if the hair is shorter it's just going to stand out. Um, so definitely would say long hair would be an easy one because it's just about having that bun day where if it's shorter you can't tie your hair up, you have to maintain blow waves and do the waves or make it straight um, because else it's just going to flick out and shorter hair is higher maintenance. Okay, best product to use for volume? Um, a good volume product um, also from Sorgewolf is their Big Blast shim um, treatment. You put it on at the roots area just before you blow wave. It's not sticky at all. So you just put one pump in your hands, work it through as if it were hand cream, apply to the root area and then when you are blow waving, just lift up at the root area and dry so that it creates that root lift immediately um, and that will definitely help with lift and you don't feel that stickiness in the hair. Oh I hate, that's what I hate about some products, they leave that yes. stickiness. Okay and then last product best treatment for dry hair i mean last product does that last product last question <laughs> best treatment for dry hair so from swash off so there to help with removing um the dryness from the hair especially going away in summer um going away for december this is definitely something to use um you can use it every second time you wash your hair um, it's more intense than what a conditioner is and it's definitely going to help with putting that moisture back into the hair that the hair has lost over time. So those are your 10 questions answered. I hope that you learn something and that you go and get all these products because they really are amazing. Swatskov is a really good brand. And um, yeah, and I'm going to show you an up close of my hair. Okay guys, so this is my hair and I absolutely love it. I love how light it is. <sighs> Thelma, you've just outdone yourself this time. Outdone. Um, so that is that for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give her a thumbs up. For some hair inspiration, I'm going to put Thelma's Instagram handle right here. So you guys can check out her page. Give it a like, a follow. She is... Like I said, she's, she's queen tea in my eyes. Queen tea. She really, really just does make me so happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, remember to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Don't laugh. People need to subscribe. Like, I'm funny. I'm really funny. In any case, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.